vanilla chai vanilla <laughs> chai tea it's the subject of today's food for thought my name is Jodie Bunting and this is another one of our live health tips to help you lose some weight and stay healthy now in my bid to avoid caffeine to avoid tea and coffee I've been trying lots of different fruit teas herbal teas and I've found a winner guys. I have found my favorite. Now it is called a company called Hope and Glory Teas. So it's a, a specialist in teas. And this one is vanilla chai. I repeat, vanilla chai organic tea. The official description is special and unique. And this is the unique collection by Hope and Glory Teas. Now, I've only found them in Hilton Hotel, so um, I haven't seen them anywhere actually uh, to buy in a shop, but I'm sure you can definitely buy these online. And if you know any stockists of Hope and Glory teas, then you'll definitely find this one there. Now, the reason it's my favourite is because, I don't know about you, but I love a vanilla chai latte. And for those of you who have had, had a look at the calories in a vanilla chai latte, it's sky high. It is really high, guys. You're probably talking the same or even more as a normal latte. So you're talking 300, 400 calories. But what this is, is obviously it's got the spices of the chai. So it gives you that lovely spicy flavor. Uh, and to get rid of the missingness of the milk, which makes a chai latte amazing, they've added some vanilla. So I have brewed it up. Obviously, I'd like to have a, uh, a cup and saucer, but... I don't have one in my hotel room. First of all, the smell is electrifying. It's just so nice. For those of you who do smell a, a chai latte, it is almost the smell that makes it taste so great. So you've definitely got that chai latte sort of smell. Christina, this is up your street. If you love chai latte, uh, then uh, this chai vanilla is just fantastic. Now. As with all vanilla teas, they do smell better than they taste, but certainly you are getting that lovely flavor that you would expect. Now it does look like a, a normal brown tea as well, so it doesn't look like anything too uh, special. But as I said, the flavors just come out so, so well. Uh, I'll see if there's any more description on the back here. Uh, so per tea bag, it's a pyramid bag. It recommends uh, 100 degrees uh, centigrade, so boiling hot water basically, 200 mils, uh, infuse for five minutes, pour and enjoy. And it does recommend doing it in a pot. But as I said, we haven't got that available. Uh, I think what I've put in, I have put in a little bit more than 200 mil as well, guys. So obviously to increase the flavor, if you do like a nice strong tea, uh, then that is good. Uh, ingredients are organic black tea, cloves, cinnamon, cardamom, black pepper, black pepper, ginger, nutmeg, and natural vanilla flavoring. So that is the ingredients there. Uh, so again, it is a lovely uh, organic mix. Uh, again, the official description, a signature chai recipe unique to hope and glory, which is true because I've never seen vanilla chai tea ever before. Blending the ingredients of our award-winning organic masala chai with vanilla to create a sweet, spicy, fragrant tea experience. Sounds like a relationship, not just a cup of tea. Try it in the traditional Indian way, brewed in a pan with milk and water. No, no, I'm gonna stop you there, hope and glory. Don't add the milk, because <laughs> the milk is what we're trying to get rid of. Uh, you could do it if you really like just tea and milk, but obviously, as I said, the, for me, the chai and the vanilla is what is replacing the need for milk. But that is the official description. Um, and as I said, it is organic. Uh, and it's by a company called Hope and Glory. I've tagged them in this video. Uh, their Facebook page is Hope and Glory Teas. And as always, you guys are on it. V Yvonne is saying 14.95 for 28 bags from their website. I drink nettle tea, lovely, also ginger. 
Thank you very much, Yvonne. Uh, Christina is saying black tea is good for health. Yes, that's good. Uh, not so good for your teeth, though. That's the slight issue. Uh, you can get Hope and Glory teas on Amazon. Great. Right. Thank you guys for joining me. That was my quick update this morning. And Yvonne, thank you so much. As always, you guys doing the research. I just do the good bits like trying all these wonderful things. Right. Thank you for joining me. Have a great weekend, guys. So we're here live at the Hilton Tower, London Tower Bridge Hotel. It's next to Tower Bridge. Uh, London Tower Hilton Hotel. Uh, Christina's going to buy some, which I'm really happy about. Um, tomorrow, we are today, we're moving into a new hotel. Uh, we're going to Bankside, which is the brand new Hilton Hotel that's got a swimming pool. Woo! So not many central London hotels have actually got a swimming pool. So we are moving one today. I'm going to move there really early because I want to go for a swim today and tomorrow. Right, guys, have a great day. Before you go, I'll just switch the camera around because there is a great view of the city. So that's where the city is, uh, as in the Gherkin. I call it the Gherkin, you know, that twisty thing. Uh, and over this way, I learned out that this big building is the Shard. So I haven't got a view of the river. That's London Bridge Station down there. So I haven't got a view of the river, but I've certainly got a lo lovely view of the city. And right in the centre of the screen is St Paul's Cathedral. Right, guys, have a lovely Saturday. See you later.